Okay, welcome to another episode of Tyler's Tech doing first impressions. Um, not done one in a little while. I've been a bit ill with the flu. Still got it. Still got a stuffy nose. So my voice will be a bit funny. Um, today I'm looking at Pop OS by System76. Built on top of Ubuntu, um, using what I believe is the GNOME desktop environment. So let's have a look. So as usual, you've got your activities button at the top left. Um, they've pinned Firefox, Files, Terminal and a, the Pop Shop to your bar on the left here. Date, Search Bar, um, Virtual Desktop Switcher up there. And then you'll have your, your sound and your power buttons and things like that up here. Um, background, quite like the background actually. Um, let's just see what else it comes with. It's a quite a nice selection actually. Um, let's have a look at the jellyfish. Okay, we'll stick with that while we do the first impressions. Alright, so first off, let's see what applications it comes installed with. Oh, so let's put things in folders. So calculator, calendar, contacts, files. Let's just check out the files app. Um, go to about so version 3.26.0 okay and it should just be a tabbed interface I do believe yeah tabbed interface fairly straightforward so let's go back up into here <coughs> Sorry, uh, so Geary for your email as opposed to Thunderbird. Text editor, terminal, settings, your pop shop, and then it comes with the full Adobe uh, LibreOffice suite, um, utilities. Okay, um, and then your system as well. So, so you start up, system monitor, let's pop open system monitor. So at the moment we are using, that's quite high, 1.2 gig out of 3.9. This is a virtual machine but that is quite high. Um, we haven't really opened anything. CPU utilization is at 14%. Okay, well, um, uh, no minimize buttons out of the box, which I always find very annoying. Um, no one wants to do that all the time okay let's close that and let's go into the pop shop which is where you probably get your software from this is built on top of ubuntu so this reminds me of another shop is it the elementary store mm, can't remember um i don't know if you just pop open to audio for example you got your amarok yeah fairly straightforward and then if we go back to updates let me get the updates there i won't do them now we'll do them a bit later so if we look into the settings oh, so if you type at the top here and then just press enter it will search your computer and get you what you want oh, so the settings is a bit different to what you're used to instead of having sort of like the icon space you've got menu down the left here of categories so i want to see um Oh, I'm not used to it being like this. Let me just try. Do I need to change the view? Probably not. So devices, network, power, sound, sharing. Is it just background or can you change? Um, devices. Displays. Okay. Power. If you go to the details, uh, that's print and not details. Details. So there, you can also do your default applications on the left. But as you can see, Pop OS seventeen point ten running on Ryzen. Not natively though; it's a virtual box. 
Um, so let's have a little look around. Any tweak? So it also searches the store there. So we've just found GNOME tweak. We're going to install that. Password in. Okay, so I want, that's the top top bar, Minim there we go. So I've minimised. I don't have man. There you go. I don't know why people even have that disabled. To be honest, it makes your life so much easier. Okay. So that's not persistent. That bar it won't stay there when you're idle. So you'll have to always click there. Right. Let's have a look at how it handles applications. So if we open up uh, Writer. And we'll just quickly see what version this comes with. Um, go to about. So 5.4.1.2. Okay. Um, if we open up another, let's open up Firefox. Okay. I quite like the default theme, the colours are quite nice. Um, so now I want to check how it snaps for Windows. So there's two way split. Can it do three way out of the box? Right, I think it's only set up to split between the two at the moment. That should be easily changed. Right. Um, does it come with a music player by default? No, not that I can see. It comes with a video player, but you'll have to install your own music player. I think this is just a .deb package installer there, Eddie. Um, let's quickly check the system resource sources again. So there you go, we're at 1.7 gig now with that running um, Libra and Firefox. So here you'll get notifications for your updates and messages and whatever else. Calendar here, so if you double click on something, no. Nope. So if you open up the calendar, yeah, standard calendar. Okay. Okay, um, there's not really much more to look at there. Let's quickly just see what the lock screen looks like. And there's the lock screen. I do like the, um, the wallpapers and stuff that they use. Anyway, thank you for watching and please subscribe.